What's going on everyone, Jack here from Half Chrome, and this is the Beta FPV Meteor 85, and this is the HD version. Now I have the HD zero version, there are two. You can either get this with the walk snail or the HD zero version if you're looking for something in HD. And I am a big fan of this 85 millimeter whoop. So stay tuned, I'll tell you a little bit more about this and why I think this is actually one of the better quads I've flown in a while. So welcome, if you're new to the channel, thanks for coming. I'm gonna tell you about this thing. Now, we shoot pretty darn straight. There are a lot of drones that we review that aren't very good, uh, but this is not one of those. I've flown a lot of beta FPV products, some that I like, and quite a few that I don't. I feel like there are just a lot of little things that they just miss the mark on, right? If you listen to the last review on the Cetus X, it was supposed to be a good drone, but it just didn't turn out that way. It just didn't fly really well. That's not this guy. This thing, really well done. I'm not generally a huge fan of 2S swoops because I find that they're just overpowered to fly indoors. Uh, but that's not the case with this. Uh, the power to weight ratio is fantastic. And I found this was actually really pretty darn flyable indoors and outside as well. So that's if that's something you're looking for, if you're looking for a quad that you can fly inside and out, I really like this. Now it's an 85 millimeter whoop. Now most whoops either are 75 millimeters, which is a little bit smaller, or the ones that I really enjoy flying are 65. They're even smaller than that. We're talking 85 uh, millimeters from uh, motor post to motor post on the diagonal. That's where these numbers come from. Now this one is a little bit big for an indoor drone, but I found the throttle management on this pretty good. Um, I really enjoyed flying it. Now this is the HD zero version and there are two, like I said before, the HD zero and the avatar, both HD quality. Now in order to get the HD signal, you need that sort of equipment. So in order to fly this HD zero, I use an HD zero module. I do have their goggles on the way, pretty excited for that. And I opted for the HD zero because I prefer for that system, you get zero latency or near zero latency, ready, better latency actually is what I should say. Um, the picture's are really good and it's a little bit lighter, right? So this is the lightest version of the HD drone that you can get. Now, now if Avatar's your thing, you get a slightly better picture, a little bit more latency, and it's gonna be a tiny bit heavier. So let's talk about what you're getting with this thing. We've got 1103, 11,000 KV motors. We're pushing by blade props. I do like these props. They, they're pretty good. I generally prefer tri-blades. You get a little bit more grip, it seems, with those. Um, the camera here is an HD zero camera, switchable up to 200 milliwatts, I believe. Um, and this is the ELRS version, which is what you want. Now it's ELRS 2.0, so you gotta keep that in mind when you're binding it to your controller. Um, I use two different controllers. I have a TX16 that I've kept on ELRS 2.0, and I also have a boxer that's ELRS 3.0, and then I just flashed a module that's 2.0, and I run it on that. So there are a couple of different ways you can connect to this if you go with the ELRS. I believe they have an FR Sky version as well. All right, so this thing is pretty darn light. 48 grams for the walk snail version, 52, 53 grams for the Avatar. Um, the flight controller is an F4. We've got an all-in-one 12 amp ESC. Um, we've got an XT30 battery connector and you can see the capacitor is soldered on here. This frame is pretty darn rigid and as is this canopy. They did a nice job of molding a new canopy here. There's actually a little goofy piece that kind of looks like a Knight's uh, faceplate. You don't need to add that, just extra weight. Uh, the decoration, I guess, if you're into that sort of thing. Camera angle is adjustable, so that is nice. And you're gonna wanna fly this thing with a two cell battery. Now you get a 450 milliamp hour two cell battery, and they say you can get up to six minutes with HD zero or five minutes with the walk snail. Now, um, I didn't get quite those flight times, but um, you know, it kinda all depends on how and where you fly. I think uh, somewhere closer to four and five minutes is probably more realistic. You know, one thing I'm not a huge fan of, you can see down here this battery tray. Um, you know, it's plastic and it's molded and some people like that. I don't, right? I like, um, 
I prefer it actually if this was rubber bands and then I could put any battery on. I had some GMB 450s that I was using that were really pretty tight in here. Um, and I think just a battery um, rubber band or, or strap might be the way to go. I mean, you can obviously clip this and, and put that on, but there aren't really posts uh, really accessible. That would have been nice. I think that's my preferred method, but again, that may just be me. So inside the box, you get a couple of useful things that go with the quad. You do, of course, have uh, an extra set of props, which is nice because, well, you could actually break them. Um, we also have this here, which uh, because I have the HD0 version, I may need to update my HD0 firmware, and you're going to need these connectors to do so. Um, and then there's also this connector here, which is pretty interesting. Um, this is how you're going to connect it to Betaflight. We have this USB-C plug uh, that's going to plug into your quad. And it's kind of odd that they did this. I don't quite understand why. You see the connector down there, the one on the bottom. That you connect to this plug here, and then you connect this to your computer for Betaflight. We do also have actually a pretty decent... Uh, manual on the drone here, which is kind of nice. Uh, there was also like a little another piece uh, somewhere that I lost, I think, that went on top here, but that's really just decoration. So some interesting things that come in the box. The beauty of this thing was actually flying it. I was not expecting to be able to fly it indoors as well as I did. Now, again, that doesn't mean I flew it well. It flew it well for me. Um, I really do prefer the smaller drones, something like this. This is, again, an HD 0 65 millimeter whoop, which is fantastic. I love it. Um, there's a whole lot more power. You go up to 2S. Um, and it's a harder fly indoors, but super manageable and I was really pleasantly surprised in how well I was able to fly this thing inside. So it is doable, maybe not for a beginner, right? Beginners may want to start smaller um, or you could put a throttle cut or something like that. I think that actually might be the way to go. Probably get better flight time as well. So surprisingly well indoors. Outside, it worked well. Also, you know, it was good acro flyer. No, this is not a five inch replica. I'm not gonna tell you it flies like a five inch. It doesn't, it flies like a pretty powerful whoop. Um, so there's that, you know, I think 85 actually is really a nice uh, 2S frame size. You know, I think the 75, and I have a few of those, this is a 2S Mobula. This is a 65 and I, I don't feel that this is quite as, easy to maneuver, especially with the throttle, right? Throttle management on something like this, when it's this small and this heavy on 2S, it doesn't do as well as something like this, this 85. So something to consider. If you're thinking about a 2S whoop, you know what? I think 85 might be the best size for that. Now I gotta fly this a little bit more to kinda, you know, figure that out, but this is definitely gonna be one of the quads that makes it into my backpack when I go flying, especially when I'm flying tiny whoops. And it is indoor tiny whoop season for me, so that's pretty exciting. So I'm a fan. Now it is $220, so it's not cheap, but it's a good little durable 2S tiny whoop that you can fly inside and out. So you gotta kinda think about that. Uh, plus HD camera, that's awesome.
Fine HD Whoops is, it's awesome. I wasn't sure that this time was going to come. And now we have plenty of different options. You can go small, you can go medium, or you can go big. It's nice to have options. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. If it was, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, we'd love to have you do so. Uh, we also have some other content on our Patreon. You know, if you're thinking about getting into the Part 107, there's a whole Part 107 study guide, uh, lessons, all sorts of fun stuff like that there for you, if that's your jam. Anyway, hope this was helpful. Good luck, everyone, and happy flying.